of all the people I know, oh, you an and Ryan Rossillo uh, are Ooh. the biggest uh, <laughs> NBA draft Knicks. Yeah. You live for this stuff. You'll go into projected next year's draft an hour after this one. I will be doing that Thursday. Yes. Okay. So correct. this is your this is your wheelhouse. Paul George to the Lakers. Now. They may have to give up four or five pieces. Do you do it? Well, what you keep missing with this Cavs thing, and the Cavs make a lot of sense for Paul George, but Colin, think about this. If you're the Lakers, do you want to run the risk of having LeBron have Paul George under his wing for a full year in Cleveland? No. Okay, LeBron orchestrated the big three into Miami. LeBron orchestrated Kevin Love, Minnesota to Cleveland. Name a guy who's left LeBron James. Who has played with him and left him? They don't. I don't know that Paul George would leave. Or... And LeBron's a big legacy guy. He says, oh, you're Jerry West. He's a genius. He's with the Clippers now. Paul, you want to go to L.A.? Why don't we go start something with the Clippers? What if we bring the Clippers a title? We'll be legends in that franchise. The Clippers have never won anything. I'm saying LeBron George, uh, LeBron and Paul George together as a tandem is very dangerous. The Lakers need to prevent that, and I've got the solution. Are you ready? I am ready. I floated this on the big lead this week, and people didn't like it. You got to part with D'Angelo Russell. Are you okay with that? I mean, I listen, am, he's am. a good shooting guard, but Lonzo's coming in to take his spot. And Jordan Clarkson's off the bench. I think you say, hey, Pacers, we'll give you D'Angelo Russell. He's your future point guard, shooting guard. He's going to be there. He's cheap. He's young. You build around him. He's better than Kevin Love. What did Kevin Love win in Minnesota, Colin? Anything? Nothing. Yeah, so I, I take a chance with D'Angelo Russell, who's cheaper, younger. Pacers have something there with Russell and Turner. I'm just, I just think the Lakers cannot run the risk of letting Paul George go to Cleveland. You, they've got to prevent this at all costs. Okay, so let me give you the opening here. LeBron to the Lakers. Now, they have yes. – it's an all-time brand. Oh, yeah. It's A-Rod to the Yankees. It's Harbaugh to Michigan. That that part I'm, I totally get. They're beat up. They're not very well run uh, at this point. But LeBron to the Lakers. Throw, throw. Okay, so – if Paul George is to the Lakers now, right? They've got Paul George, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, a great little nucleus. Right. LeBron looks at that, says they got two homegrown players, Ingram and Lonzo Ball. That's attractive to him. He just mentioned how Golden State had young, attractive, homegrown players. They were able to build around them, Draymond, Clay, Curry. So the Lakers would have two homegrown talents plus Paul George. You toss in Jordan Clarkson off the bench. I'm telling you, I think the Lakers could make a move and should make a move for LeBron next summer. Now, they've got to get Paul George or they're not as attractive. And think about this. LeBron, he's talked about being the first billion-dollar athlete, right? Mm -hmm. I know you, uh, L.A., how, how easy is it to happen out here for him? He's into uh, production company, movies. You know, he's doing a lot of stuff. He could start that next phase of his career here in L.A. and dethrone the Warriors in two years. Could he not? Uh, I'm not sure if he could, but if you look at Lonzo, Paul George, Brandon Ingram, LeBron James, it would be a very, very yeah. interesting team. And, I, and I've said these these big super teams, they generally don't last as long as you think. Yes. They just did, By don't. the way, did you see the news right before I came on? Andre Iguodala, I'm going to entertain big money offers. Of course he is. So that's a big loss if the Warriors lose him. And all of a sudden, this five-year run that we've proclaimed the Warriors may not happen. All right, Celtics. Um, I I get this is that, again, I always think from the owner down, Danny Ainge is doing things to create yeah. viability. And, listen, he got he got an extra pick, mm -hmm. and I don't think there's a huge gap between one and six. What did you make of yeah. Danny Ainge? Well, Colin, I want to back up here. Danny Ainge is a risk taker. It's kind of like yourself, right? I consider yes. myself a risk taker. You know, I started a – I quit a magazine job to start a sports blog. Here I am 10 years later on your show. But you are a risk taker, too. Yes. You left your previous network, came over here to start something. Right. It's going well pretty soon. Yes. Danny Ainge is a risk taker. 2007, they won 24 games. He sees LeBron go to the finals at 22 years old. He sees the Spurs win their third title in five years. What does he do? He blows up the entire team, adds Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, and they win a title. That's big risk, yes, right? Sir. And, and I, I'm on board for risk taking. He now has seven first-round picks in the next three years. So, Colin, hypothetically, think about this. Anthony Davis and the Pelicans, right? They're struggling next year. They're not going to make the playoffs. And Danny Ainge picks up the phone and calls New Orleans. Hey, guys, uh, four first-round picks for Anthony Davis. What do you think? Do they entertain that? Oh, I, I think I think you have to. I think when you can give four, when you get into the three, I, I would say when you get into the four and five first-round yeah. picks and you know Anthony Davis I mean, probably. He's a game changer. 
I think he's really good. The, the problem with Anthony Davis, and this is one of the things in the NBA, he's largely invisible except to diehard NBA fans. Matt, well, if you stink, that's a problem. Remember Kevin Garnett in Minnesota? I mean, they went to the playoffs a few years, but he was invisible. Anthony Davis is kind of hidden. Let me throw out another one, Colin. Russell Westbrook next year. Remember, he's going to opt out of his deal and go for like a big amount of money contract. What if, the, what if the Thunder aren't going to the playoffs and they say, dang, we just lost Kevin Durant for nothing? Do we want to lose Westbrook for nothing too? And they say, hey, Danny Ainge, give us three first-round picks for Russell Westbrook. Do they entertain that offer? I don't think Danny does. I think Danny knows um, he understands the plight of playing with Russell Westbrook. I, I, I think <laughs> Anthony Davis, and also it's an NBA that we saw it again this year, guards don't win titles. Kevin Durant was the key. So, okay, I, uh, let me just stop you there. Guards don't win titles. Why did the Sixers just give up an extra first-round pick to get Mark helpful? Because Philadelphia is not in the championship mode. What they're in is the let's build this puppy up, Let's make it fun and viable for fans. They've been more than patient for six years. And Fultz and Simmons and Embiid and Okafor are entertaining. On paper, they're entertaining. Yes, <laughs> and, 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 and I think, listen, I don't think, I think the way it works in this league and the way it's always worked in the NBA is not everybody's in a title mode. I think the Celtics believe they're chasing it, the Warriors, the Cavs, the Spurs. Spurs. Yeah. And, and, I, and I do think the Clippers think within two years with Jerry West coming aboard, which is now official, I think the reason they did that for Jerry West Twofold. Jerry did it to get his son from the Lakers to the Clippers and ensure his future in the yes. front office. And number two is Steve Ballmer believes, I've been told this by somebody close to the Clippers, Ballmer believes Jerry West gets LeBron an interview. They get LeBron. Well, that's scary if you're the Lakers. That's, I mean. that, that, no, that is Chris Paul, LeBron, and LeBron bringing somebody over. So what that, would that do for the Lakers if LeBron goes to the L.A. Clippers? Your crosstown rival. Remember, the Lakers tried to interview Kevin Durant, LaMarcus Aldridge. They couldn't sniff those guys. And now the Clippers are getting an interview with LeBron. Oh, that, that's why you got to go in all in for Paul George right now. There is there is an absolute <laughs> guarantee that within a year, the Clippers will get a LeBron interview with Jerry West. Remember, that I used to say this about Mike Tyson. For all his faults, Mike had a great, rich respect for the history of boxing. LeBron has an incredible respect for the history of basketball. He would absolutely interview with the Clippers because of his respect and admiration for the logo. Yeah. There's and not a question in the world. Speaking of LeBron, Clippers, Lakers, all this, Colin, like a week ago, everybody was saying the NBA's in trouble. Super teams are bad. This is great for the league. The listen, interest right now is off the charts. Listen, you have to remember, there's only two sports in America that have a tail. Yes, like when baseball ends, it ends. When hockey ends, we don't talk about it the next day. MLS, I like it. NFL and NBA, the season ends. We'll spend eight weeks talking about draft, Free agents, free agents yeah. coaches being fired, agents. I think all this stuff's great. Yeah. Uh, Jason McIntyre, thebiglead.com. Good seeing you, bud. 